Tonight, there was no one like him before or since. David Bowie, rock and roll rebel, actor, and cultural icon, has died at age 69. But as Bill Neely tells us, the otherworldly star left so much behind for fans, including a brand new album. Ground control to Major Tom. David Bowie shot to fame in the month of the first moon landing Ground with Space Oddity. To Major Tom. And he stayed a hero, not just for one day, but for six decades. Starman and the iconic image of Ziggy Stardust confirmed his genius for innovation and change. Moving from pop to rock and soul. Fame bringing him his first US number one. But by then, he had the world dancing, and he loved to spring surprises. When you're young, you think so much is important, including oneself. <laughs> but as you get older, I think you, you find less and less is important. His golden years were the 70s and 80s, but he produced 25 albums and sang heroes to fire crews after 9-11. I particularly like to say hello to the folks from my local ladder. He lived in New York, but never in the past. I'm not sure that we should pay homage to the past. I prefer to sort of keep reinventing it. His death, like his life, has shocked fans laying flowers from his birthplace in London to his apartment in Manhattan. Honoring a man who died just two days after releasing his final album, whose song, Lazarus, sounds like a requiem. Look up here, I'm in heaven. Bowie dying of cancer, writing his own obituary. The song's final images and words poignant. Oh, I'll be free. Oh, I'll be free, he sings. Ain't that just like me? David Bowie, the free spirit, the lost legend. Bill Neely, NBC News, London. And that will do it for us on this Monday night. I'm Lester Holt for all of us at NBC News. Thank you for watching and good night.